Hello everyone, welcome back. Bit of a special treat for you today. We are looking at the brand new Titleist TS3 driver as just bought by my good mate Lee. Absolutely. Let's get into this jack. Let's get into it. So then, first things first, I must ask you, Titleist TS3, what made you buy it? Because, um, because far. So you've been fitted for it? Yep. Whereabouts did you have your fitting? At Doncaster driving range. That's good. Uh, did you compare it to your old driver? I did. What was your old driver? The 915. 915, right. And so you saw improvements in distance, I'm guessing? Yep. Because this driver is very much geared for that kind of thing, isn't it? It is. They've stripped everything back and they've just gone for raw unadulterated Hey, you save yourself, I'll talk about all technical oh, stuff. <laughs> Come on, let's see one then. Very first smack we Oh, I'm glad it's glad it's on camera going out to the world. Watch that top flight there, you might smack that. What was that like? Sweet. Sounded good. Right then, so let's talk about features. So this has got the new Titleist Speed Chassis. Basically, everything in this driver is just designed for more speed. So it says the Speed Chassis is the result of a two year mission to deconstruct the driver and then design greater speed into every detail. Um, we've also got an ultra thin titanium crown, which again, designed for speed. Uh, it means that weight can be shifted lower and deeper. Uh, we've got a new streamlined shape, uh, which reduces drag by 20%. Again, gearing for speed. You seeing a theme here? I'm starting to see a theme. Thinner, faster phase for quicker ball speeds. Optimised weight distribution, so in the TS2, there's no adjustability. You've just got the, the, the one weight, which you can change, which alters swing weight. But in the TS3, like Lee's got here, we've got the sure fit CG, haven't we? So you can change draw and fade bias, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's the main difference between the TS2 and the TS3. Interestingly enough, uh, one of the other things which contributes to the uh, improving of speed in this driver is that, do you know the stock shafts? The heaviest one is 60 grams. Did you know that? No. Which one have you got? You got the hazardous. Yeah, so the heaviest uh, stock shaft that Titleist do is 60. They also do one, I'm not sure what it is. I'll probably put it in a bit of text below. They do one at 50 grams, did you know that? So everything, like thinner face, quicker crown, lighter shafts, all designed for speed. So you can smack it like this. Right, so under Lee's supervision, he's letting me have a go with this, and he's also just got injured. So we were <laughs> going to do an head-to-head, -head, but it's I'm, I'm flying solo now. So I'm going to hit some shots, I'm going to pull some shots up so you can see them, and I'll collect some data and we'll show you at the end. Right, that was mega interesting. Just before we go back inside and look at some figures, we're just going to nip to the first hole. First hole at Ickleton, it requires a carry to get over the water, so I'm just going to give it a quick go. Let's see if I can get over. And as if by magic, here we are on the first tee. So, this is kind of the layout for the first. It's 313 to the green, however, it's about, what would you say, Lee, about 255 to carry water? Yeah, so about 250 to carry the water, which is that. I'm going to give it a go. Let's see how we get on. So we're here on the first. I'm going to try and get over. So we've got figures to look at when we get back in. So the current time, I'm going to try and get over. Let's give it a go. Very low at the bottom. It's over though, isn't it? Yeah, over quite comfortably. Let's go back inside now. Well, let's have a look at some figures. Right, so we're back inside now. Let's have a look at some figures. So I'm gonna pull them up on screen for you round about now. Let's have a look. The one thing that I was mega impressed with with this driver was how easy it was to swing it fast. Now we all know that the TS2 and TS3 are both designed for speed. My clubhead speed when I'm really on it is about 108 to 112, anything in that parameter. With this, it was quite comfortably 109. And I, you know, I weren't particularly warmed up, I've just gone straight to the net and I'm hitting a few and I'm very, very impressed with that. Total distance on average we saw 285, but I did have one that went to 295, which you know is probably as good as I can get. 
uh, 259 carry, impressive spin numbers for me, so I'm normally quite a high spinner, if you're someone who watches this channel quite a lot, you'll know that I'm quite a high spinner, but we saw spins of 2596, you know, all in all, I'm very, very impressed with this driver. Now, the only one thing that I would say is that it weren't set up for me, so this was a custom fit driver for my friend Lee. It was 9.5 degrees, I'd probably have it more 10.5 in that kind of realm. Shaft, I don't know if it suits me because I haven't tried uh, a variety in the uh, TS3 head. Uh, the CG bar was set to neutral, which, were, which is something that I would have if I had this driver. But yeah, you know, it felt really good, um, looks really good, I much prefer the looks of the TS3 to the TS2, uh, it's a little bit more squat and the TS2 looks a bit more like triangular, reminiscent of the, I think it was 907s, yeah, the 907D, D1 possibly, the, the kind of triangular shape, so I'm not mad keen on that, I much prefer this shape, but all in all, very impressed with this driver and some good numbers there as you can see. So there you go, that was my kind of first opinion on the Titleist TS drivers, more specifically the TS3. If you've enjoyed this video, could you like, share, subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Interestingly enough, I can't speak. This is going to outtake this. Interestingly enough.